Could the upcoming housing crash be worse than what we saw in 2008? It's a question that's been looming over economists worldwide. To understand why this question is arising, let's take a look at the current state of the housing market. Recent reports suggest that U.S. home prices are on a downward trend, with demand for new houses declining. Economists predict a 15-20% to overvaluation of single-family homes, signaling a rough period ahead. This decrease in demand is creating an excess in the housing market, which could potentially lead to a sharp decline in prices. Notably, this decline in demand is not a sudden occurrence. If we look back at the housing market boom of 2020 and 2021, it was fueled by low interest rates and pandemic-related factors. Now, let's draw some parallels to the 2008 crisis. Much like the current situation, the 2008 housing crash was also preceded by a boom in housing due to low interest rates. The subsequent dampening of demand due to inflation, which we're seeing now, was also a key factor back then. The average 30-year mortgage rate in the United States has now crossed the 7.6% mark, a figure eerily reminiscent of the pre-2008 era. So, we see a pattern here. A boom in housing due to low interest rates, followed by a slump in demand and overvaluation of homes. These similarities are impossible to ignore. But here's where things take a turn. Despite these apparent similarities, some economists are suggesting that the upcoming crash could be even worse than what we saw in 2008. So, you might be wondering, if there are so many similarities, why could the upcoming crash be worse? Let's delve into that. While there are striking parallels, several key differences could signal a more severe housing crash this time around. The global pandemic has had a profound impact on the housing market, from the boom in 2020 and 2021 due to low interest rates and pandemic-related factors, to the current dampening of demand as a result of rising interest rates and inflation. This is a stark contrast to the 2008 crisis, where a lack of financial regulation and risky lending were the primary drivers of the crash. Moreover, the affordability crisis we're currently facing is contributing to the housing market froth. With house prices soaring and incomes not keeping pace, many are finding it increasingly difficult to afford a home. This affordability issue was less pronounced in 2008, when the problem was more about overvaluation than lack of affordability. Furthermore, the house price to rent ratios are adding to the froth. In simple terms, this ratio compares the cost of buying a house to the cost of renting one. When this ratio is high, it often signals that housing is overpriced, and a correction may be in the offing. This ratio is significantly higher now than it was in 2008, indicating a potentially more severe correction. Another key difference lies in the potential domino effect and the global impact that could follow. A housing market crash in the United States could trigger investors to pull out of international housing, seeking safety and liquidity elsewhere. This could lead to a spillover effect, impacting economies globally. While the 2008 crisis did have global repercussions, the interconnectedness and fragility of today's global economy could potentially exacerbate the impact. These differences might make the upcoming housing crash even more devastating than the 2008 crisis, but there's more to it. Monetary policy plays a crucial role in the housing market, and this time, it could be the trigger for a steeper correction. Let's take a step back and consider what monetary policy is. In essence, it's the strategy used by a country's central bank to control the supply of money, often targeting an inflation rate or interest rate to ensure price stability and general trust in the currency. For instance, the Federal Reserve, or the Fed as it's commonly known, is the central bank of the United States and plays a significant role in the country's economic health. Now, how does this relate to the housing market? Well, one of the ways the Fed influences the economy is by adjusting interest rates. When the Fed raises interest rates, it becomes more expensive for people to borrow money, including mortgages for homes. This can dampen demand for housing and lead to a decrease in home prices. This is precisely what we're seeing now, with the Fed's aggressive rate hiking cycle pushing mortgage rates higher and causing home prices to fall for six consecutive months. In contrast, the monetary policy leading up to the 2008 crash was quite different. The years before the crisis saw a period of relatively low interest rates which made borrowing money cheap. This led to an increase in mortgage lending and a subsequent housing bubble. When the bubble burst, it triggered a severe global financial crisis. So, while the Fed's current policy aims to curb inflation and stabilize the economy, 
its aggressive approach to raising interest rates may be contributing to a potential housing market crash. And given the already delicate state of our economy, this could potentially lead to a steeper correction than what we witnessed in 2008. The monetary policy could potentially make the upcoming housing crash worse than in 2008. But there's still one more piece to the puzzle. The housing market bubble, it's a term that's been thrown around a lot lately, but what does it actually mean and how could it impact the upcoming housing crash? Let's think of the housing market as a balloon. The more air you pump into it, the bigger it gets. That's equivalent to the rise in home prices, but there's only so much air a balloon can hold before it bursts. In the housing market, this is the point where home prices become so inflated that they're unsustainable, leading to a sudden and often drastic drop in prices. This is what we refer to as a housing market bubble. Now, how does this relate to our current situation? Well, over the past few years, we've seen an unprecedented rise in home prices. This has been fueled by a number of factors, including record low interest rates and a surge in demand due to pandemic-related factors. However, as interest rates start to rise and demand begins to wane, we're starting to see signs that the balloon is reaching its limit. Economists from the Dallas Federal Reserve have warned that the U.S. housing market could face a potential correction of nearly 20%. That's a significant drop and could have far-reaching consequences for homeowners, investors, and the economy as a whole. Furthermore, aggressive rate hikes from the central bank could exacerbate this situation, triggering an even steeper correction. This could lead to a domino effect where investors pull out of international housing seeking safety and liquidity elsewhere, raising concerns of spillovers to the global economy. So what does this mean for the upcoming crash? Well, if the housing market bubble bursts, it could trigger a sharp and sudden decline in home prices. This, combined with other factors such as recessions, inflation, and the collapse of the US dollar, could potentially make the upcoming crash even more severe than what we saw in 2008. The housing market bubble could be the final nail in the coffin, making the upcoming crash even worse than what we saw in 2008. So, we've covered a lot of ground today. Let's quickly recap. We started by drawing parallels between the current housing market situation and the crisis of 2008. We noted the shared elements, such as inflated home prices and a surge in demand driven by low interest rates. Then, we delved into the differences. The current situation has been further complicated by the global pandemic and its subsequent economic effects. We explored the role of monetary policy, highlighting how the aggressive rate hiking cycle of the Federal Reserve has led to higher mortgage rates, contributing to the cooling off of the housing market. We also touched upon the housing market bubble, underscoring the overvaluation of homes and the potential for a steep correction to bring the market back in line with its fundamentals. While it's hard to predict the exact impact, one thing is clear. The upcoming housing crash could be even more devastating than the one we saw in 2008. As always, only time will tell.